I remember sitting on an airplane. This is years ago, and it's probably 15 years ago now. I got my headphones on, I had my computer in front of me, and I was kind of working away, and I was uh, tapping my, my foot, right? I'm just typing away, and I'm tapping my foot to the, the music that I'm listening to and doing my thing. Now, there's a guy across the aisle that he ends up reaching over and like touches my knee, right? Touches my knee, and, and so I pull my headphones back, and he says, you need to stop doing that. Of course, what did that make me want to do? Tap my foot even louder, even longer, even harder, right? Tell me what to do. Imagine if the guy on the plane had said, hey, sorry to bother you, but uh, your, you know, your foot tapping is, is quite loud. And of course, what would I have done? Like, oh, Jesus, I'm sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't even realize I got my headphones on. I'm sorry, man. We don't want to make things worse. What we're doing is if we're dealing with conflict, we have to utilize the escalation tactics so that we can work through that conflict and get someone back down from an emotional state, back down to a more rational, more productive, you know, interaction and conversation here. So don't make things worse. Unmet expectations creates anger. So when expectations are unrealistic, that actually triggers a subject to then revert to childhood thinking and behaviors. That's what triggers the emotional response of frustration, resentment, rage, disappointment, where um, uh, interactions and conversations get out of control. There's a great deal of emotions involved. They're giving us that childlike behavior. We begin to overreact. Now we're having a child to child exchange. Did not, did too, did not, did too. And you guys know what happens when you say to someone, I know what you're going through. I know how you're feeling. Because the reaction always, no, you don't. Make sure you understand that empathy is a change changer. People want to be heard. Remember, they're frustrated. They're agitated. They're upset. They're angry. Which translates to the logical responses, right? So we want to make sure that we're acknowledging their feelings uh, because they do in fact want to be heard. Focus on those feelings. Feelings to them are legit. We gotta recognize it. Oh, I'm so pissed off right now. I understand you're pissed off, I do. I get it. Let's clear your pissed off. The only way I can help is if I can hear you.